up on Living 808, we head into the kitchen to whip together a healthy, delicious, and quick snack with Mama T from Down to Earth. She'll show us how to make kale chips. This is a nutritious snack your family is sure to love. Mm, that does sound good, actually. We all have active lifestyles here in Hawaii. <laughs> All right, coming up on Living 808, are you looking for a yummy and healthy snack for the whole mm -hmm. family? We've got just the thing for you. Mama T from Down to Earth will teach us how to make a delicious snack using the super green kale. All of that when Living 808 returns. Now, it was voted Vegetable of the Year in 2011. We are talking about kale. Oh. The healthy veggie is versatile. It can be eaten raw, in soup, sautéed, and even in smoothies. Wow. Now, Mama T joins us from Down to Earth, where she talks about the super green, yummy food and teaches us how to make a quick, easy, delicious snack. We're in the jungle, a jungle <laughs> of kale. We are here at Ferguson Showroom with Mama T uh, with Down to Earth, and we are talking about greens today, but specifically kale. Right, to eat your greens. So we really want to encourage people to eat more greens, and specifically kale, because there's so many varieties, and you can make it a million different ways. And didn't you say that kale won the Vegetable yes. of the Year Award or For something? For 2011, it was Vegetable <laughs> of the Year. <laughs> I'm surprised it was only 2011, because right. kale is so popular, and like you said, there's so many different ways to eat it. Right, and it's really easy to grow in your yard or in a little pot and a lanai, and it'll give you leaves for two years that you can just keep cutting and incorporating into your in your recipes. Let's talk more about kale because this kind of leaf I recognize. Right. That looks like kale to me. Yes. But this one I've never seen. Okay, so this is the curly kale and this is the dinosaur or lacinato kale. And they're both really, really delicious. This one has a, a little bit thicker skin and so I like to do that in sautés and I also like to make raw wraps out of them where they're like the taco shells. Ooh. And so, but both of them are full of protein, full of calcium, full of fiber. I mean, everything that we need in our daily diet. So this is a great way to increase your greens by using kale. All right, what are we making today? We're making kale chips. Okay, perfect. And you've made them before, I right? I have made them and I admit it, my kids didn't love them, but I'm sure I messed it up somehow <laughs> because when I had kale chips and they've actually had it at other people's houses and they really did like it. Okay, well, we're going to get you on a new version and maybe they'll like this one. We'll okay. try Because my daughter eats the whole bag one day if I make this one. So we're going to start with our, cat. Our those aren't cashews, those are sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds. So we've soaked them and I've soaked them for about a couple of hours. Okay. We're also going to put, you're going to put a pinch of this red pepper chili flakes and for the cayenne. We're gonna put in some red onions. Okay. Oh, you're doing so good, Tree. We're gonna put in red onions. We're gonna put in some bell peppers. You can okay. go ahead and put all of that. Um, give a couple shakes of the Italian seasoning. Really? Yep, go ahead, you can do it. Okay. And then we're gonna put More? in, actually that's really good, good? that's okay. good. And we're gonna put in some nutritional yeast. Go ahead and put all of that. All of it. Okay. Nutritional yeast is um, sold in our bulk section. Is it's fortified with vitamin B12, but it's a wonderful, cheesy, nutty, um, vegan alternative that gives it those wonderful. So I just salt and peppered uh, this as well. Mm -hmm. We're going to add some water, and then we're going to put the lid on, and we're going to blend this up to make our very viscous sauce that we're going to toss with our kale. What did I do with the lid? Oh, I got it oh. right here. Okay. We're going to get your food processor out of okay. your box, Trini, at home. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Good. Okay. All righty. Okay, so I know it's really fast. Okay, okay so you, wait, are you pouring this onto the kale before you put it in the dehydrator or? Yes, we're going to toss this, but we want to keep these kale pieces largely intact. And we're going to teach you how to debone the kale. And mm -hmm. we're going to take our fingers along the ribs and we're just going to pull it like ah. this. So I'm going to have you do one, Trini. Okay. You can do it. So down. Word, and then you're gonna just pull along the bone. So this could be why my kids didn't like it. I don't <laughs> think I added any kind of seasoning or anything. Did you just put kale in the oven? <laughs> Trini, Trini, we gotta put flavor in That's why it. we need you, Mama T. And I'm sure I'm not alone. I'm sure there's somebody else at home that is as hopeless in the kitchen as I am. But um, you can find this recipe on your website, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, downtoearth.org. 
Okay, so we're gonna finish this up in our next segment. Is that okay? okay? Yes. Because I we gotta get I'm it right. I'm so proud right? of myself. Look, <laughs> look how good this is. I'm doing it right. <laughs> Thanks to Mama T, there is hope for me yet. She's such a great teacher, isn't she? <laughs> I love her. That's cool. And She's again, great. kale's such a, you, you know, very flexible, and you can use this for so many different things now. But I will say, when done right, yes. <laughs> not the way I did it at home, <laughs> kale chips is really delicious. Yeah, and it looks like fun to make with the kids if you want to have fun yeah, with your family Yeah, and it's easy. Event. It's easy that they can, they can help you make. There we go. Just don't forget to season it. That was the key, seasoning, right? Uh, this is funny. Trini, your skills are getting much better every time. They can we do only this. get better, That's Tizo. That's true. They can <laughs> only get better. You know, coming up on Living 808, this is actually really important. You know, is your vision blurry? Are your eyes sensitive to light?